Hi guys, it's Kelly from Cards by Christine here with you on a Technique Thursday. Today's technique that I'm going to share with you is about inking up an embossing folder. So this is the card that we're going to end up making, um, and the background is featuring the technique that I'm about to show you. So today I'm going to be using the Woodlands embossing folder, and what we're going to do is open it up, and then apply ink directly to it. So we're going to be using the Pretty Peacock to create the background that I showed you. So just open it up and then we're going to ink up the side with the logo on it. So if you take a peek, um, the side with the logo on it, the background is raised up rather than the other side, the trees are raised up. So we want to ink up and color the background. So what we're going to do is lay that side completely flat and just take the stamp pad right to it. And apply gentle pressure. You don't want to get too much ink on it. Um, and obviously, you can tell there's areas that still need inking, but I'm trying not to apply too much pressure because the ink that gets in the tree area will transfer onto your embossed image. So just being careful. I mean, here I can see I already got some ink in the tree, but um, some of that will happen. But just know that that will then transfer onto your cardstock. Okay, so then what we're going to do is bring over our boss. And we're going to lay our cardstock in our inked up embossing folder. And close it. Then this is a standard embossing folder. So what we're going to use oops, is the base, which is number one, and then sandwich our embossing folder between the number three plates. So then we're going to roll it through, as my son would say, rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. Okay. Then when you're done, not only do you have this beautiful embossed image, but you also have the ink applied directly to the background. So it creates um, just an extra dimension for your card. Oops, sorry here. Um, so what I want to do now is just walk you through how I made the card with this background. Okay, so here's the card. And what we have is a standard gray granite card base. So that would be eight and a half by five, excuse me, we have um, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Then we have the piece that we just embossed, which is um, three and three quarters by five inches. And like I said, we embossed that with the Woodlands embossing folder and we use pretty peacock ink for the background. The next layer we have is kind of this band with the sentiment. Um, so that is again, gray granite. This is five inches by one and a quarter. And then we have whisper white, which is five inches by one inch. Then we have the sentiment, which is from the snowflake splendor suite also stamped in Pretty Peacock. Then I did use just um, Stampin' Sponges to sponge the edge just to give it a little more um, whimsical detail. Over here we have a stamped image and die cut snowflakes from the Snowflake Splendor Suite and a little rhinestone. And then this is the beautiful Snowflake Splendor ribbon. Then on the background here I added just a couple, sorry, oh my goodness, just a couple um, snowflake sequins with um, our glue. And last but not least, last but certainly not least, I used Stella to glitter up the birch trees. So I hope you enjoyed watching this Technique Thursday video on inking up embossing folders. And I hope you um, make a card with this technique. If you do, please, please share it with me. Um, post it in this thread um, and let me know what you thought. 
Also, just a side note, I always forget to say this. Um, so when you take this out, your embossing folder is kind of dirty. But all you got to do is take it to the sink and rinse it under the sink. And the ink just washes right off. Then leave it maybe open to dry. And voila, it's all clean. I would not necessarily suggest using this dampened chamois for this. You'll get it really, really inked up. Um, like I said, the sink works just great. So... I hope you have a great Technique Thursday, and we will see you later.